I'm not even kidding when I say this. It took about 20 minutes to get through to the security on the harbor side. It took forever. There's like the long lines. And it's because they're trying like this like new security system. It's not like that, that one that you walk through and like it scans all your stuff, whatever. It's the one, uh, it's like a new one I've never seen before. Like now they have like plexiglass on the tables. And now when you, uh, when you put your backpack on the table, they have it behind the plexiglass and they're looking through it. And then you also have to empty out your pockets at the same time there. And then I guess it's supposed to make it faster. I don't know, but today was clearly uh, the complete opposite of that. It was <laughs> way slower than usual. Kind of wish I would have taken a photo of it, but then uh, you know, every time you take a photo through like the security area, they yell at you. So I try not to get yelled at when I come here. But anyways, uh, welcome back to another video. Today we're back at the Disneyland Resort. Today we're going to be doing a Downtown Disney update. And as usual, we're going to walk around and see what's new. Okay, you know what? I think I changed my mind. I think what we're going to do today is we're just going to do a World of Disney update. And that's because there's so much merchandise here that I feel like it will make a long enough video to show you guys basically all the stuff they have here. But we're clearly inside of World of Disney, as you guys can see in here. Uh, we're going to start in the Star Wars section, which is in room one. So we're currently in the Star Wars section, and there's nothing like really new, but there's stuff that came back that I never got a chance to see, like this Darth Maul sweater. This was definitely not here the last time I was here. And I actually like this one. Yes. This thing is cool. They have it in size large, extra large, and extra, extra large. So sadly, they don't have it in my size, which is 3X. I could probably squeeze into a 2X, but I don't know. This one's $59.99 in case you guys are interested. And most importantly, what people have been waiting for to come back is finally back. This is my first time seeing these. These are the Queen of Madala ears, which are, they're beautiful. Honestly, they're really nice. These are $34.99. So they fall under that deal and they have a good amount on the floor i don't know how long this is going to last like this but if you guys are watching this video you guys might want to come down here as soon as possible so the next things i'm going to show you guys is basically split up into two rooms split up into room one and room two so they came out with the pride merchandise and i think this year's is actually pretty nice i'm not saying that the past years weren't nice but i think last year was okay but i think this year's like like they they did a really good job it's like like check out the mug for example The handle's a rainbow. Oh, look at that, Disney Resort. It's really nice. This one's uh, $19.99. And then look at the Starbucks tumbler. That is really cool. And they have that, that rainbow colorful straw. I want to give you guys like, a better look at this, but again, it's behind plastic. So I'll have to go to one of the registers and show you guys, which I'll probably do uh, a little bit later after I show you guys everything else. Uh, so they have a mug, shirt, tumbler, they got a fan it looks like, they have, what's this, a blanket? They have a blanket, and I guess it's, or it's double-sided, let me show you guys what they look like on each side. This one's $69.99, wow, that's steep. <laughs> That's pretty steep. And then they also have a spare jersey, of course, $79.99 for that one. Here's a look at the front. A lot of glitter on this. I should have waited before I picked it up, but here you go. Uh, here, look at the back. See, this is nice. It's like subtle. Like, it's not too over the top. Kind of like what they did with the Universal Pride merchandise or the Love is Universal merchandise. It's like subtle. And they have it in sizes extra small to a 2X. Since I have to like show you guys something in this area anyways, I'm gonna show you guys the ear wall in room one. I still have to show you guys the rest of the Pride merch, but again, since we're here, might as well show you guys what's on the wall currently. Nothing really new on the wall itself, but they do have the small world ears still. They have a pretty good amount on the floor as well. And then over here on this display, they have the Pride ears and Lamps by Bag. So we're gonna start with the ears first. These are pretty cool. I'm not really sure what's up with this one though. It's like, all wonky like this thing is crooked and it's facing like at an angle up which is kind of weird see not sure if that's how it's supposed to be but it should be faced more like downwards i don't know but anyways the ears themselves they look pretty cool a little flimsy though not a fan of that but besides that even the bow looks cool yeah pretty cool ears these are 34.99 so they fall into that deal uh, and then here's the launch fly bag. <laughs> I 
Oh, look at the straps. That's cool. <laughs> uh, let me see how much this one is. This one's $78. And let's take a look at the lining inside. Okay, so the inside, they went kind of simple. They went with black with rainbow Mickeys. Huh. But besides the ears and the launch light bag, they also have some ornaments over here. They have a stitch one. They have the Mickey hands making a heart. They have a magnet. DLR. This one's mints. I don't know what mints is as far as pricing goes. They have a t-shirt, which I don't want to unfold it, but I'm sure it's nice. Looks very simple too. It's got the rainbow Mickey on there on the left side. It's got Disneyland Resort on the left sleeve as well. This one is, doesn't say. They also have this stitch plush. Got some cool shades on. The stitch is $34.99. And then there's even more stuff over here. There's a crew neck sweater. Which the crew neck sweater is actually really cool. I wish it was like on, on a black crew neck sweater, but this gray is not too bad. And again, it's very subtle. See, like the rainbow Mickey, it's got a little bit on the sleeve. It's like uh, embroidered. It says Disneyland Resort. Very nice. Uh, here's a look at the fan. So I was right. The fan that I saw at the outlet store is new, or was new. It was part of this collection. And then they have this sweater. Not a big fan of the sweater, but it's just me. I don't, I'm not a big fan of like whites. The heart's cool though that they have a t-shirt over here again very subtle not too like over the top doesn't say how much it is this one's extra small to a 3x they have a baseball jersey this is really cool I'll show you guys the back right now this one is $74.99 wow that's cool this one, sizes range from an extra small all the way up to a, looks like a 3X. They have this button-up shirt. This one's not too bad. I like the, I like how it's like on a dark blue shirt. Very soft, very thin too. They have sizes small, large, extra large. And in case you guys are interested, this one retails for $64.99. And besides this button-up shirt, they also have this pride hat. This one is $29.99. They've also got this hoodie, which I actually, I actually like this one a lot. It's pretty cool. It's very clean, simple, nice hoodie. And it goes up to a 3X, which is cool. Nothing on the back. Yeah, this is, this is cool. I'll, I'll definitely wear something like this. Just simple. I like simple. Uh, in case you guys like simple too, this one is $59.99 and it goes from a size extra small all the way up to a 3X. But since we're in room two, uh, over here in the Disney Eats collection section, <laughs> the rhymes, uh, they have a new collection or addition to the collection. They have the, looks like the Mickey ice cream sandwich, which is like mint chocolate chip, whatever. I'll show you guys the stuff in a little bit, but first I'm gonna start with the spirit jersey. So here's a look at the spirit jersey. I don't know why they didn't just go with like regular vanilla. Like why'd they have to go with mint chocolate chip? I'm not a fan of that ice cream and I don't know. The green is a little, like it's not a bad green, but you know, I just feel like it would have been better if it was like a vanilla ice cream sandwich, but that's just me. Uh, this one is $79.99. They have it in sizes extra small all the way up to a 2X. And just like with the past collections, they have a Starbucks tumbler, which this one I'm not a fan of. I don't know, I'm not a really big fan of the this line or the, the theming of this line. Uh, if they have this, it'll probably be in room four, and I'm sure they'll have the pride one too, so I'll show you guys both of those tumblers when I get to that room. But for now, I'll show you guys from behind the plastic, and then I'll show you guys the ears next. Which, the ears are cool. They actually look and kind of feel like an ice cream sandwich, which is pretty, pretty cool and spot on. This one is, whoops. Oh, $39.99. These are a little more expensive than a regular pair of ears. They're not launch by anything. They are like just Disney branded, but I guess, you know, they're selling for a little bit more. And here's a look at the launch five, which is probably, if I had to choose anything that was like, okay, maybe, maybe that, it'd probably be this. 
This is probably the best part of the collection, in my opinion. This one is uh, $88. It's got brown and green straps, which is like, you know, the theme of the whole backpack. I'll show you guys the lining inside. Yeah, the inside's not too bad. And while we're in the, in the Disney Eats section, I have, I think, one more thing to show you guys, which is the new Stitch collection, or Stitch Attack Snacks collection. So we are in the month of May, which is Milkshake. And you can see Stitch over here enjoying a milkshake, which is cool looking, looks so happy. That's like how I look when I, look, when I drink a milkshake. <laughs> and then of course they have a pin set, which I'll show you guys this later. Well, I mean, honestly, over here at, uh, World of Disney, that was how I'm behind the display case. I can't really show you guys this up close and personal, but I'll show you guys this again with the rest of the pins because today is Tuesday, which means new pin release day. But for now, I can show you guys the Stitch and Angel plush. Look at that. Even his little like, shirt's cool. This one is $34.99. And then let me go ahead and show you guys Angel. She's down there at the bottom. She looks happy too, that's awesome. <laughs> I'm guessing it's the same price, $34.99, yep. And here's a look at her dress. Same idea as a shirt, just dress warm. Sorry guys, I know that was a lot, but it was a lot of merchandise as soon as you walk into World of Disney. So let me know what you guys thought about all those collections and all that merch I showed you guys basically. But before we leave room two, I wanted to show you guys that they still have the Captain America spirit jersey and ears. Just in case you're looking for it, they actually moved Moved it from where it originally was, because it was originally over here on this uh, center display, and now it's over here at this end cap, so just in case you're looking for it, you'll see it, trust me. So I'll be honest, I rarely get like excited for shirts, but I just saw an Iron Man shirt, and I'm like, okay, that's pretty cool. Look at this. Isn't this cool? It'll be awesome if this like lit up somehow, but it doesn't. But it is like reflective, though, which is pretty cool. Check out the back. Nothing on the back. Uh, this one comes in sizes small, or right now they have small, medium, large, extra large, and extra, extra large. This one retails for $39.99. I don't know if you have a lot of Big Bang Theory or not, but I could so picture Sheldon wearing this shirt. So after we left room two, we ended up going through room three, but I didn't really see anything new, so I ended up just like, you know, continue on. But now we're in room four, and at this point I feel like I'm a broken, a broken record with this merchandise, but they have the Wish merchandise still for 40% off. Just in case anybody's looking for it. <laughs> but they basically still have the entire collection. Ears, launch by bags, launch by wallet, spirit jerseys, sweats, sweaters, pillows, plushes. Uh, magic bands are here now. And then even toys and stuff like that. But like I said, these are 40% off still. So not a whole lot going on in room four either, but I'm over here at the registers in room four or near room four, or towards the end of room four. And we'll show you guys the uh, the tumblers I showed you guys earlier that are Starbucks branded. All right, so like I showed you earlier, there are two new Starbucks tumblers here. I don't think this is like studded technically. I don't know if it's like the little like sharp ones that are studded or if it's these like little square ones. I'm not really sure. I'm not like a Starbucks enthusiast really. I just show what I see. <laughs> or Starbucks tumbler enthusiast. I, I love Starbucks, but anyways, here's the pride one. This is a really nice tumbler. Uh, I personally wouldn't own it myself. I'm not much of a tumbler guy, but it is nice. This one doesn't see how much it is, but I'm gonna say it's like $49.99 or so. Uh, and then here's the mint chocolate chip ice cream sandwich one, which, okay, I didn't notice this earlier, but it is a see-through cup. It's like, what is that? Is it iridescent, I think is the, the way to describe it, but it's also see-through, which is cool. But I still don't like it though. <laughs> Since twenty nine ninety nine, and like I've said it in the previous videos or the previous like merch I've shown you guys, all these lines, whatever. I'm not a fan of like the dome. I prefer the uh, like like this, like the flat ones. But whatever. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, twenty nine ninety nine, and then the straw is kind of cool. It's like green and brown, just like the rest of the collection. But if I had to choose between like one of these. Like, like, let's just say, like, hey, Paul, you have to buy one of these. I would definitely probably buy this one over this one. Because this one's, uh, this one's cool, though. But anyways, now we're in room five, and I'm going to show you guys the ear wall over here. Ears. So just like I always say, like, the previous videos are going to come here, and I show you guys room five, or the ear wall in room five. Looks like it's the same pairs of ears as last time. 
All the new ones like in other areas, but not on the walls, sadly. But if you guys are looking for any of this stuff, it, now you guys know where to find it at least. And next up, I'm gonna show you guys the pins. So we'll start with the one that I basically showed you guys earlier. They have the Stitch Attacks next one, which is like milkshake themed or Mickey milkshake themed. They have a It's Showtime poster pin, which looks like it is themed to Lion King. Kind of hard to see, but yeah, it's, I think it's a uh, Simba and Nala. And they have this uh, Spring Rides, which is themed to Winnie the Pooh. He's like in a honey pot. And then they also have some Pride pins too. They have this five pack. They have this one with R2D2. And then they have this one. Looks like the, uh, it looks like World of Color or like, it almost looks like the Touch of Disney logo, if you guys remember that during the pandemic. Really cool though. This uh, five pack pretty cool. I like how vibrant and colorful it is. So usually around this time I show you guys the mug wall, but sadly there's nothing new on there. So sorry to disappoint the people who actually enjoy looking at the mug wall. No new mugs. They still have the Carl and Ellie doll set though, if anybody's looking for it. It does come with a hefty price tag of $249.99, but really nice, really detailed dolls. But besides that, that's basically it for World of Disney. So we're right outside of World of Disney now. That was basically everything I knew I was able to find in the store. I know originally I was supposed to do like a whole downtown Disney video, but I'll come back and do that another day. Uh, there was just so much good stuff in this store that I was like, might as well just make a whole video about it because there's just so much stuff. They had like the Queen Madali ears, which are, I'm telling you, as soon as uh, you guys probably see the video or people start posting about it, they're gonna fly off the shelf like really quick. So if you guys watch this video before you guys see anybody else's post or whatever, or vice versa, run to World the Dizzy and get them if you guys have been looking for them because uh, I think they've been out of stock for like over a week now or, or since May, well, since like May 4th. <laughs> but. Uh, besides that, they also showed you guys the Pride merchandise, which they had a lot of stuff, a lot of good stuff too. Uh, I love that that hoodie that they had; that was really nice. And um, what else? They had the ice cream sandwich collection, which was part of the Disney Eats collection, but eh, it was okay. Like I said, I think the Lounge Fight bag was probably the best part of it all. But besides that, uh, that was basically it for World of Disney. But anyways, I think I'm in the video. If you guys enjoyed it, if you guys did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.